I'm here with my show and tell. My name is Ashley and I hope you're having a wonderful week um, or weekend. Depends on when you're watching it. So this is a podcast. You can say it's a podcast. It, it is um, yarn related, um, knit and crochet and some sewing in between here and there. Um, not always I sew, not always I crochet, sometimes I don't even knit that much, or really I knit a lot now that I have no houses left to knit. So I hope you can hear me clear, clearly, because my computer has been acting a little weird, even though I put the volume up all the way, um, it seems to not be able to record anything at all. So I'm just going to raise the volume and see if it stops it or um, so yeah so I have some finished objects that I have to show you I have one whip and I have some purchases plus I'm going to do a recap of all the hats I have finished for donations um, for the hospital for cancer patients um, those are the hats I am making um, or yeah I've been making and showing all the hats they're for cancer patients so let's get on it um, so the first hat I am going to show you is one that I have showed you in the past videos but I have been really really um, lazy and not been um, how can I say this I have not been working on it and I left it in a bag and that's where it went and couldn't see it. I'm almost in darkness, guys, and my camera's acting really weird and making everything super bright. And I fixed whatever the color thing in there. And I don't know what I'm going to do. So this is the, um, I don't know, it's by Tin Can Knits. And it is... The barley hat. Well, the barley hat. And this is. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this camera. So, this is some Burnett baby ish, baby soft, I think. And this is some yarn from a series called. Oh, if you can hear some clanking here. Um, what is that yarn name? Give me a second. Okay, got it. So this is Downtown Abbey Yarn Collection. Lady Mary. That's that's the yarn. This one is Lady Mary. Just hand wash dry flat, which I'm not gonna use. Duh. And it is a light or fin or three ply yarn. And yep. It is 95% acrylic, 5% metallic. So yeah. And you can see that. If you can see that in the background. <laughs> so this is the barley hat as I told you. And this is some yarn that my friend uh, Emily gave to me. She made a shawl, which I have showed in a video past that. And it is true what she said. Um, I don't know if you can tell here. Let's see if it focuses. I'm not showing my face. There we go. So, can you see all the stitches? That is not me, really. And that it is, that's, that's just the yarn. It's, it has some fluffy parts, some wonky parts. Um, I think I, I have pretty, pretty, um, good, um, tightness in my stitches. I'm pretty okay balanced, but they are super wonky. Super, super wonky. 
And it's totally not my fault, guys. Now, to tell you the honest, though. But it turned out cute. It, I made it a little bit bigger, so it's kind of slouchy on my head. Go. Well, it doesn't matter anyways. It's kind of slouchy here. And I think it looks okay. And it's going to look really cute with the shawl that she made and she gifted me. So, yeah. My hair. Like this. Okay. So, I have this left of the yarn she gave me. So, I think I'm going to mix it up with some other thing. And there you can see the sparkles of it. I took the autofocus because my camera gets a little weird with the autofocus. I just use it for certain occasions. So the other thing I finished is my hat, the Make It Your Own pattern. It is free on Ravelry. Um, so if you're looking for a simple knitted hat, and it is quick and simple and you can do the ribbing however you want and if you don't want a ribbing and you want to do just stocking it just do stocking it because I know some people like like the folded like the curled brim too and this one I did not make um, the size recommended in the pattern I think it's five and a half or six inches um, this one is eight inches and a half um, and I think a little bit more like nine, nine inches long. Um, this is some, <clears throat> I always forget to say the yarn, loops and threads, impeccable, and as well as this one. Um, I do not know the name of the yarn, really, because I threw the band away. Oops, sorry. So I had just scraps of it so I'm so bad at putting the things where they're supposed to be so yeah you can see it has like this aqua blue this red color yellow mustard yellow that matches that mustard yellow that I put in the bottom part I have to cover my face or else I'll get the picture and I did twisted ribbing for the brim right here. I did some twisted ribbing. Yeah. So I did some twisted ribbing on the on the on the hat just to try it out. Um, because I tried the other hat that the bank head hat that had twisted ribbing and I really liked it. And this one is a slouchy hat as well. So when you put it on, it looks really cute. And I did a pom pom with blue and purple, the same yarn because I, not because I worked at Michaels, but I really like that yarn. It is a pretty soft acrylic. It is a good price. Um, I I do get a little bit more discount on it, but when there's sale, I I haven't bought um, any of it right now. But when there's a sale that I think it's really good because last year I think I bought this ball of yarn for a dollar nineteen plus my discount my employee discount so I, I made a big shopping spree um, for that and you can see my haul video so you can know what I'm putting I still haven't used the loops and threads um, impeccable no is it impeccable charisma yeah the charisma one um, I have a few hat patterns that I might, I might do next week, I might, I might, but, um, because it's a chunky yarn, so it's difficult to find patterns for it, because not everybody has hat patterns for chunky weight yarn, usually, or it's fingery, or it's worsted, or it's BK yarn, so it's hard to find a bigger, bulky hat, but I do have some patterns that I'm going to use. Um, to make a hat and I have one that I want to make with that charisma yarn that is green and it has like clasp when I do it you're gonna see it and if you're interested I, I don't know if you can see my library but it is my library and I will put the name here of the pattern
learn if you're interested in looking it out. Um, but it's really cute. It's really scary, kind of. Like, I would do it in red and a little color thing as well. But I don't have any red and touchable um, charisma. So, I would do it in green, like the pattern is, the picture of the pattern is. So, another thing I finished is, here, this is a cooking camera, I'm so silly, sorry, I'm silly. So this is the other thing I have finished. And this is my own pattern. I have some testers trying it out and see if I wrote it correctly or if I did a big mess of it. Um, so hopefully I did a good job. So this is Karen yarn, I know. Um, I think I bought it like I didn't even have a daughter so like three years ago maybe yeah maybe three years ago or more um, <laughs> so I bought this yarn and I have like little bit little bit left and I think it was perfect just to try and see if what I wrote was correct so you can see I put some wooden buttons here so when this pattern, this one is going to be a paid for pattern, um, I think I'm just going to put it for a $30, um, no more than that because it's just a simple pattern and it is a headband, it's not a cardigan or something like that, but I think $3 is okay price for a paid for pattern that is this simple. Um, but I do like it. Um, well, I made it, but yeah, I wanted you to see it by yourself and notice how cute it is. Let me try this. Yeah. How cute it is. It has a braid, a cable braid, and it is a pretty simple pattern to follow. Um, after you get the hang of it, you can follow it pretty um, intuitive. You know which side to switch and everything once you get there. So hopefully everybody gets me good feedback and I don't have to change a lot of the pattern things. Um, but yeah, it is using worsted weight yarn. It's going to be soon. Um, Maybe in September it will be, well, we're in September, what am I talking about? Um, the test knit, the testing ends the 16th of October, so maybe at the end of October it will be on Ravelry. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check my shop, and it will be $3, so you can help me out with that. And I'm not making any money with the commercial things, if you see any commercials. So, um... It would be good too if you give me a thumbs up so um, people can see my videos and whatever and I'm not doing it for the money or anything. I just do it so I don't I don't have any friends to share with so I share with you. So in other things I bought some yarn. I bought I know, I know, I said I was going to get rid of Red Heart and not not buy it again and Blah, 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 blah. But I bought two Red Heart Jumbos. And there you can see the color. It's a little still cute. But it is a sunshine yellow. And it's called. No, I don't know why it does that. But it is bright yellow. And this one right here. It's still not showing the bright, correct color. But. You will notice it is pretty and pink. So these two balls plus the Lion Brand one I have in the closet are going to be my daughter's mermaid tail. Um, so they're 
there's plenty yardage for the body. I have more pink and yellow in my stash. Um, they're not red heart, but I can I can do I can use other yarns and do this all with similar colors. Um, that's why I told my husband because if I was going to buy the this is the Crochet Proud um, video series of Nuggly Stacks, I think it's called, um, by Karen, Karen Blanket or something like that. So I'm going to do the mermaid tail for my dog, but it would be, it, we even like, if I bought the four balls I need, it, online, it would be $20. If I bought it in stores, it would be $40 because each, no, it would be, yeah, 40 40 it would be $40 if I bought it in store, 39 something, because they're $9.99 each of the blanket balls. So I'm looking for a cheaper alternative. So the cheaper way would be to join three strands of worsted weight to make a bulky six ply yarn. So um, the, uh, this I bought at Joanne's. I had a 60% off coupon. Um, I bought one and my husband bought the other one because you know you can only use one coupon per customer. So that's how it, we went to it because she really wants her, mer her mermaid tail. Every time I sit down with some pink yarn, she is asking me if I'm making her mer mermaid tail. Ooh, I can't say that word. <laughs> it's early. Ooh. So, yes, I bought this Jumbo Jumbo Balls yarn or stains of yarn to make that. Hopefully, I'll start it next week, but I have... I, I think I'm finished with hat knitting for now, and I'm going to get Christmas stuff on because it's right next door. It's like knocking. It's close. So, yeah. So, in other notes, talking about yarn before I show you my web. Well, let me show you my web. One more purchase. Okay, one more purchase I have. And then I'll show you my whip, and then I'll talk about something. So, I entered in Aaron's um, Secret Santa thing. So, give me yarn for 1-8. I don't know yet. She hasn't told us who our partners are going to be, or who I'm going to be matched with. I don't know. So, I bought some fabrics. For a smithy because it, it is a Christmas secret Santa thing. So I bought this one with Christmas tree everywhere. So pretty. And then I bought this one. See if you can see it. Pokemon. No, I don't play Pokemon Go, but. I like Pokemon. <sighs> There's so many conspiracies about that game that I don't play it, so whatever. Um, so, yes. Um, actually, I, I thought it was cute and it was pretty. I thought about who the recipient might be and I don't know if they would like it or not. Maybe I want to do a bag for them in this fabric. Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe when I know who it is, my, I might change my fabric decision because it wasn't picked by me. My daughter made me buy it. She was like, Mom, you have to buy a Pokemon one. And so the inner fabric is going to be this one for the bag, the lining fabric. And I'm going to do some pockets with the Pokemon yarn in the other one. So I thought it was really cute because it does have Christmas tree. The Pokemon fabric has Christmas tree, and it does have red. So, and it's it, and the this Christmas tree one has little little snowflakes as well. So I thought it was 
it was a pretty good match for it. So I might change it. Who knows? I might leave it. Depends if the person likes things like these. I know people mostly like Harry Potter, Doctor Who, and stuff like that, but they didn't have any Christmas fabric about that. Um, and Pokemon is like all the rage right now, and I think it will look cute. It's, it's cheery, it's pretty, it's cute. You know, people will be like, hey, that project bag is so cute. I think it would be something to talk about. So. I'm a hairy girl this year. My other little girl. The other one is in preschool, which is why I record right now. So, for this, I'll show you the yarn for this. For this, I'm using Wool Ease, which I bought. That was my favorite. And you might, if you're watching my videos, you might know what I'm making because you know why I bought all this yarn. You, you must have known. You, you must know right now. Okay. Um, this is the color cranberry. And I was going to say it was a cranberry color. And it's coming up pretty pretty accurate in the thing. It's wool ease. I think I told you that. It is a 2080 acrylic one. So it has 20% um, wool and 80% acrylic <clears throat> and it's a worsted weight yarn so I am pretty excited about this it's going to be so pretty so I am using my nightmare before Christmas bag because it, it, it equals for two seasons so it's Halloween and Christmas in one bag counts as two, not just one season. So, I am doing my harvest cardigan. Yay! I am just in the neck band. Yeah, I'm so sad. But, <clears throat> I'm picking up the stitches around the headband here. I'm going to show you the wrong side. Obviously, right there. I think it's looking amazing. Cute. But, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Because I know it says pick up in every three stitches pick up four so I know I'm supposed to end up with 85 stitches but I don't know if I'm doing it right if I'm doing it wrong if my mind's spaghetti and I did one already and I did mess it up a little bit my daughter's one but <laughs> I'm still learning so so I'm trying my best here <coughs> So right now this bag is holding three skeins of yarn and I have two that are different dye lots uh, that I'm going to use for the sleeves because that's who I am. I'm not going to mix and match like every three rows put the other color. No. Put in the sleeves and that's it. I don't really, I don't really mind that the sleeves are going to be different. It gives them more spunk. And they're pretty equal colors, even though they're a little lighter, a little darker, whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm not going to fuss about that. I bought those three balls of yarn. I bought them in Oklahoma when I went to visit. And two of them I bought here, where I live, in Colorado. So I, did, I didn't have the ball of yarn, and when I saw the 60% off coupon, that which I used to buy that, those three balls of yarn, I really didn't care of the dye lot. I tried to look up the picture I posted on Instagram, but it didn't show the dye lot, so whatever. So the three I have are going to be for the body, and the other ones are going to be for the arms. And that's it. That's how it's gonna go. I'm I'm not very picky about that. I'm picky about mistakes, but color wise, not that much. So then, you know, I bought Karen Kate's. Oh, you can see the color here. 
Mm -hmm. My camera is worse. I have camera issues with all the cameras I buy. Um, so this color is funfetti. It's so a sweater. I thought, black. I sweater, I think. I'm not, I'm not, it's by Tim Cameron's, but I'm not sure right now of the name. So I might be wrong, I might be right, but I don't have enough yardage to make one for my daughter. So one thing would be, and my Michaels already ran out. And if you know, if you have been watching the crochet crowd, he worked for this company and the company made him, well, told him to please make an announcement to the crochet crowders and to tell them that to be patient because the three month supply ran out because Michaels and them had a contract for three months and they gave the three month supply at the first week the three month supply was done so they made another batch which was the second shipment and it was done so now they're making another batch because they don't have enough machines to make blue shape. Um, he has more information over there, so you can go and see that video. It'll be a lot better if you're like frustrated. And uh, I work at Michaels, so please don't go to my Michaels and and like get it to the custom to the employees. We don't have it. We don't work in the yarn factory. Um, some of us don't even know what's going on, so it's not our fault, and it's not the company's fault or anybody's fault. We just bought it like crazy and they were sending messages and stuff like that to michaels and nasty grams to karen company and ugh. so that's not very nice so it was something it was supposed to be three months that was it no more yarn but people kept complaining so they're gonna keep it for a year they're gonna make more karen it's gonna take a while to get to the stores and they're gonna make it for a year and after that year there's no more Karen cake no more so you can you can scream to the sky you can ask you can send messages to all the companies in the world there's not gonna be any more Karen cake I know that premier yarns is coming up with the sweet rolls so they look just like Karen but I think they just have three colors instead of Gonna have one, two, three, four, four colors. Instead of four colors, it's gonna have three color changes. So yeah, I just gave you a little recap of that. So be nice, please. Be nice. So I was thinking of making a cardigan for my daughter, but I need another cake for that because it won't be enough. So I might start it, and I might be like up to here, like check chest weight and no more yarn so I won't have enough for the arms because she's she's tiny but I'm not sure I might even start it and when when I have more um, when the start actually gets supplied I grab one right away of the confetti color and bring it home and finish the car the sweater for her good it's 20% cotton um cotton 20% wool and the rest is acrylic so I think she's gonna be nice because it's warm because winters here are really harsh um yes but that is it for this um and I gave you a little information there so be nice please be nice so let's go with the recap of all the hats I have knitted for charity here it goes. I might not know all the pattern names, but if I don't know them, you'll be sure that I'll put them here and you'll know the name of it. And I'm still looking ghostly white. Why? Why come out? Why have you forsaken me? I'm literally in the dark. When I had my windows open, it was off, so I don't know why, but here we go. So I made this cute little hat, and I, I think I brushed this pom-pom out with my dots brush, 
that I only use for yarn. This one is two strands of worsted weight yarn held together. And I made this cute little hat. It's, it's done from the bottom up. And it's really chunky and warm. And then I have this one. And I think this one is the ice ice peak or something hat it's done as well from the bottom up so it has camel stitch in that area like right, right there why oh, you can see a little bit of it my camera is being so weird camera why Oh yeah, and this one I did for my husband. He didn't like, so I'm giving it away to somebody who might. So this one is the Lone Owl by me that I made, testing out my pattern. So this one is totally free. So it's more. You can have it. So this one I use for a Halloween costume. I don't think I'm going to use it again this year. So I am giving it away to charity. Somebody will have fun with it. Somebody can get it for the kids or something. They can wear it for Thanksgiving or Halloween days. I don't know. Everybody likes different stuff. So this is a pattern as well. This starts from the bottom up. And it's a Hudson Tooth top. It has a little ribbing here. It's all black, so it's really hard that the camera will show it really well. So, yes. My tummy is grumbling. So, this one, another hat. I think this one is called the Stripe Something Hat. It's all in garter stitch. Up the ribbon. And these are all scraps of yarn I used. This one is the Make It Your Own hat, which is my pattern. And here you can see this is the regular size you're supposed to make it. And this is the size I make it. So you can see the difference, like side by side. There you go. One is shorter, one is larger than the other one. So, yeah. Oof. And this one is a, another make it your own hat. They're pretty simple to make, so I make a bunch of them. So this one is another Mickey Your Own hat, but I striped it and made it all rainbowy. So you can see you can make it however you please. You can use variegated or you can use stripes and make it all colorful. And I even changed the color to the crown. I did not count the yarn and stripes, so they're really random. So there's less of this blue, and there's more of this, and more orange, and there's more red, and there's a lot more purple here, and a little bit more. But it looks cute. It looks really cute. So then, this one is a simple double crochet beanie hat, which I made a little bit longer, because it might be, it's, it's a male color, so guys have big heads, so and I still haven't made one with the Colorado colors and flags. Well, soon, soon that will be coming. Hopefully soon. And then there is this cowl I made. Which, if I would have known, I would have made a 
incredible stretch you find off. This side is not really stretchy. <sighs> oh yeah, it's really pretty. I hope you can see the pattern coming uh, with the little triangles. And I think I missed one other one because I usually mess something up on this one. If I use Shannon words like socks after the word, you know what she was saying. So that's what I was saying. So. Go with the flow, you know, it's, it's the creative process. And this one is my simple V-stitch mat, I think. I was wrong on my name for some reason. But I know it's the simple adult V-stitch hat. I think it has a really long name for a simple hat. But yeah. And this beautiful company color. It's a fall color too, so... It's really cute. This one is, I think, can make as well. The barley hat, but in baby colors. And this one is a color that I dyed with, um, that I did the video, the yarn, the Castel, the red dye more. So you can see the colors there, which I think, like, semi-solid colors. Whoops, oops. It was totally white acrylic yarn, so yeah. And it ended up really soft and nice and didn't melt the acrylic at all. But you do have to keep the fire, like the heat, really low to do that. Um, so, this is another hat, crochet hat. And the Bronco colors with the Bronco pom-pom. I think these ones are going to really be really popular and there's uh, I think the Red Heart yarn and some of the crafts, craft want yarn that I have and this one as well vice versa and the orange and the blue and a colorful smaller pom pom because I have not that much yarn of these colors left I actually used all of it in pom-poms. So I'm thinking of buying more of that bright orange and more of these blue. They, in the loops and the red one, they, these colors go like that. People make hats and stuff and everything, so they go really fast. So I'm going to show you the pile to donate. Um, it's not a lot, but I started pretty late making hats for donations. And I think it's pretty good for what I have, plus the one I have, so it's at this one up, and we'll have all of them. I still need to wash all of them, so yeah, instead of a box of socks, a box of hats, I have a drawer full of them. <laughs> I know they're making that, I should do that, I should make a box of hats, and then you can donate it to any charity you like. I yeah, and I know they need socks too if you're donating for um, homeless people, donate some socks if you make a bunch of socks, they do need them, even if you think the yarn is so wonderful and beautiful and everything, whatever, some people have socks they don't even wear, you, you make so many socks that you're not going to even wear all of them and you like them. So if you have socks that you use them, if you think they're pretty and they're okay shape, just donate them to somebody for charity. They're gonna use they're gonna use them until they break. So they need that's stuff that usually don't doesn't get donated, but it is it is needed. So I don't make that much socks, I just made two pairs, one for me and one for my husband. I can't donate that, but at least I make tons of hats, and I know somebody will be super happy to receive one of these hats. I might, these, these are going to be for this year, and then next year I'll start early in January making hats, or even this Christmas, um, because I still have to make some hats, but they're just going to be Christmas presents. Right now I'm just going to work with Christmas presents. 
and going to do my cardio in because mm-hmm. I'm first. So I need my stuff. So yeah, I keep it in a fabric pillow place because I think that would be the better place to keep it. It has a zipper. It keeps it dust free. It and I don't have that many bags laying around in the house. So no plastic. So it's breathable and keeps it dust free as well. So that is all the half, all the yarn, all my blah blah. So <laughs> all my talking and remember. Um, all my social medias are going to be in the description box below of this video. I hope you can hear me correctly in this video and my audio isn't weird. I'm sorry if you didn't like my ghostly look that my camera is giving me. Um, but yeah, I, I am mostly active on Instagram, so if you want to follow me there, go ahead and you will see a bunch of pictures of stuff that I like to make and that I'm making before you see the podcast. Usually here I just show you the finished object and not the progress or anything. Well, for my cardigan, yes, because it was time for that, but yeah. Um, but as usual, I'll see you. Um, my podcast is bi-weekly, so I won't see you next Sunday, but I'll see you uh, next week. And today is, it is Wednesday, so I'm recording that before, because my daughter's in preschool, and I'll be a little bit more silent, even though you can hear kids crying from the TV. But, <laughs> um, remember, remember, always, always. Always do what you love and do what inspires you and is your passion. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.